how to measure your wrist to fit a or to get your wrist size to find out what size you need for a Cartier love bracelet or a just on clue so they do these handy gadgets uh, which you'd be able to download and you can print off uh, from Cartier's website you want to make sure when you print this off that you do not uh, choose any other uh, scaling size but that which is default so make sure it's always default and just to double check get a ruler and just make sure that the increments are exactly one centimeter increments that they're because uh, if you choose another scaling uh, some like fit to page and so forth sometimes they can adjust and they won't be exact measurements and that way you will end up with the wrong size bracelet uh, I also have another gauge here which I've purchased off of Amazon for about two pounds which uh, I can put the link in as well I'll send a link um, yeah, at your request if you don't have a printer to hand you don't have anything else and you still stuck and want to measure your wrist a, a quick hack uh, would be either a piece of string or uh, if you don't have any string just cut a long strip of paper uh, the longest length depending on how big your wrists are um, down the edge of a piece of paper bring the paper again over your wrist Try to make sure that the paper is nice and snug against your wrist. Not too tight, but snug enough. Then, once that's in place, without cutting your wrist or causing yourself any harm, you want to make sure that you cut through all of the pieces of paper. And then the piece that is left, the longest piece that is left, should be your wrist size so this is measuring 18.6 or 18.7 which let's double check and see how that scales against my actual wrist measure so you feed it through here check it here again 18. Point six perfect so it's 18.6 18.7 depending on how um, i'm feeling or how warm i am uh, but you're probably looking anywhere between 18 and a half to 19 is what my wrist measures so that measures exactly the same there let's check on the cartier one And they don't have like increments, so uh, of in between the 18 and 19, they don't have any markings, but that looks like 18.75, 18 and a half. So anywhere between 18 and a half, 19, which would mean I need for a love racer, a minimum size of a size 20. Um, and that should be the right size for me. If we're measuring 18.75, uh, you want to i would need a bangle that's around a minimum of 19.75 now obviously they don't do a 19.75 size they do it in increments of a centimeter so it'd be 19 or 20. now i have both a 90 size 19 love bracer and a size 20 just to show you so this will be a size 19 um in rose gold just to show you how it fits so if you are measuring I'm gonna need some help here. I'll just get someone to put this on my wrist for me. So if you see this now, if if I was to do a size 19, that one side, you need to put that on there first, yeah. See now, if you turn it, can you see it's, it's near enough pinching my skin. It is, oh, let's put that into it. Yeah. yeah? See, it's like it's, there's not much movement there. There's, there's enough, but it's really snug. So it all depends on how you, you like to wear it. But you can see it's kind of distorting the bottom of my wrist there. And if I 
during summer, if I'm getting really warm, it's not going to be comfortable at all. So, so like you can see, the one side pretty much stays on my wrist, and like I've already got some marks here. So I think an exact size wouldn't be best. Um, you always have to go up a minimum of a size to a size and a half. Now, here's a size 20. This one should be much better. So now this one, much freer, a little bit of movement, but it's not spinning around. So that I would say is probably a good size. I've got a nice amount of movement there. It's, a, it's still touching the sides of my wrist, but it's not uncomfortable. Uh, again, if you like to wear it loose, you'd want to go up another size, um, and that's a size 21, but I think that will become a bit too loose. Now, once that's tightened, that will stay in place and you're not going to have any issues, and that's pretty much how it look. Again, see, it's not, it's not pushing the sides of my wrist in, and it's quite comfortable. Okay, so now, we'll go on to a just on clue. So, in the love bracelet, I'm a size 20. This bracelet is also, oh sorry, no, this one isn't, this one is. This one is also a size 20, and there's just on clue. So now, this one, you can see, has got a lot more movement and a lot more range, almost being able to spin around, which is not something you want unless you like to wear it loose. Um, again, it's always personal preference, but that shows you the type of movement I have. But now let's go for a size 19. Again, depending on how you like to wear it, it's always gonna be a personal preference on how tight or how loose you'd like to wear it. That, to me, seems like the right size. So for a just on clue, you want to be as close to your actual wrist measurement size as possible and like i said again depending on how you like to wear it and also the temperature on when you're measuring because your wrists are always going to be a lot smaller in the cold so if you're feeling cold um, your wrists are going to be smaller at that time so measure it when you're fairly reasonably uh, normal temperature um, or when you've uh, you haven't been doing any exercise and uh, your wrists aren't swollen um, due to temperature internal temperature so just a rule of thumb uh, to recap you want a size one centimeter minimum extra when it comes to the love bracer and you want the exact or nearest two for a just on clue. And that concludes our video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like, share, subscribe and click on the notification buttons. And any suggestions you have, please leave a comment below. Hope you've enjoyed and see you next time.